We're going to begin your underwater coral fish. And what we need to do first is look at all our supplies. We have a toothbrush, and I'll tell you what that's gonna be for, a little tray with some water, and a wooden pencil. So what we need to do first is make the base of our coral reef. So I'm gonna give you a little ball of clay. You can take your finger and smooth it if you want. So I'm just taking a little bit of water and smoothing around. Um, <clears throat> and you just want it to look like a rock, nothing major. So that's gonna sit right here. And to this, we're gonna add seaweed and we're gonna add a starfish. So first thing I wanna make, I'm gonna set this over here, is make my starfish. So I'm gonna give you some new clay and you can take the clay and just kind of smash it. So it's about this thick. And what I need to do is make some worms, really thick worms, almost like caterpillars. So I'm gonna take my tool and just cut. There's one and I'll cut another one. And what I can do is just take this and like you do with Play-Doh, just make, make a little roll. And this is perfect, just a roll like that. Then I can take my next one and make another roll, like so. And what I'm gonna do is just press them together to make a X. So you see there, it's just a X like so. And it can point on the end, you can make some points, like so. So a starfish have five arms. So I need one more arm. So my last roll, I can just take it and I might cut it a little bit shorter and I'm just gonna press it on. So there, I got one, two, three, four, five. If one's a little long, you can pinch it off and voila, there's a nice little starfish. So with this again, we can smooth it out if we want using our finger. And the last thing I'm gonna ask you to do is we need to attach it to our rock. Now this is gonna sound crazy, but we're gonna use the toothbrush. And what this does is to attach things in clay, you need it to stick. And toothbrushes make like Velcro. So on the backside of my um, starfish, I'm just gonna dot, 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 and you see like this this Velcro, right? And Velcro only works if there's another piece of Velcro. So on my rock, my coral rock, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just make a bunch of Velcro. Now I can take these two and just press them together and this is not going anywhere. It's Velcroed on. So voila, I got my nice little starfish right on my coral, okay? Now, if I want to, I can push the legs down or leave them out, whatever you wanna do, so like so. But let's give our starfish a little texture. So I'm gonna use my base of my wooden pencil and I'm just gonna make a bunch of dots. Just to give it a different texture. If you notice the coral's smooth, my starfish can have all these little dots. If you've ever looked at a starfish up close, it does have all these little texture in them. So voila, there is my starfish on my coral. The next thing we wanna do, and again, you can position this. Okay. The next thing we wanna add to this is some seaweed. onto our coral base. And what I need to do is take some more clay and you can just have it flattened like so. And again, using my cutting tool, I'm gonna just make a strip like so. Maybe like three, 
these like so. Okay, so if you look at this, it's just a long rectangle. You can pinch it to make it look a little bit more like seaweed so it doesn't have any definitive or any exact shape to it. It's just a wavy, organic piece of seaweed. Nothing crazy, right? And I need to attach this to my coral base. So to attach, we need our handy dandy toothbrush to make our Velcro. And then I'm gonna figure out where do I wanna put this? Maybe here so I can put my Velcro there and press that onto the piece. Now you're gonna continue adding some seaweed. So again, I'm gonna keep curving this however I want my seaweed to look. It can be wrinkly because seaweed is in the water and it's moving in the water. And again, I always have to put my Velcro on two parts and press. There's another piece of seaweed. Got another piece of seaweed. So I'm going to do my Velcro and I think I want this, you can overlap, I'll put it on the side here. And press it on. Now if you want you can smooth these, it's up to you. If anything happens to your starfish, guess what? It's clay and you can always go back in and re-add whatever. That's the great thing. Just like Play-Doh, you can reform it. So I think I want one more piece of seaweed. I got this here. And again, I can layer it. I can put it wherever I want. So I think I'm gonna put it behind that one. So again, I gotta do my Velcro and a little more Velcro and voila, there is the base for my fish. Nothing crazy, unless some seaweed and a little starfish. And we're gonna leave it like so.